Lance Mechanics here today, and I want to teach everybody how to diagnose a CAN network using only sound. And to do it, you need this little piezo electric buzzer, and it's pretty simple. And once you learn how to do this, you're going to be surprised because I use this on everything. And don't get me wrong, I love using a multimeter, but uh, I like keeping things simple and sweet, and this is the, the easiest way you can do it. So let's get to it. First, I have to explain to the average viewer how a CAN network works and an OBD2 connector. So every vehicle, modern vehicle at least, has an OBD2 connector. Uh, these are the only pins you really need to know. Pins 4 and 5 are always ground. Pin 6 is going to be your CAN high network. Pin 14 is going to be your CAN low network. And pin 16 is always battery voltage, which is going to be 12.6 or higher, depending if it's running or not. So this is your common layout. This is what the OBD2 connector will look like. Every vehicle has one. Now, this is the sine wave form. On CAN high, this is what it looks like visually. On CAN low, this is what it looks like visually. So what you're doing is when you're using this and you're plugging into, let's say, a ground and CAN high, you're hearing the CAN network operate. And the difference between this and a multimeter is I've seen where I've clicked, uh, I put my multimeter on CAN high and I've had 2.5 volts and I put it on CAN low and I've had this voltage. That right there, these two voltages, is a dead network. And explain more here is your CAN high and your CAN low voltage will always total 5 volts. So when I see a number like this, when I plug in my multimeter and I have 1.5 on CAN low and 3.5 on CAN high, it totals 5 volts. These two voltages right here tells me the network's working. So what happens when you run into here? That's a dead network. This is where a lot of technicians get confused. Because in theory... When you have voltage in this voltage, it should be working, but it's not always the case. That's where this comes in handy. This will tell me if it's communicating or not, because on a certain frequency, you can hear it. You can almost hear it cycling. It's kind of weird. Uh, you'd have to play with different frequencies, because this is the one I hear. So Lance Mechanics here. I got my Jeep here. Uh, I got it in can high at the moment, and I'm going to put the pin on the ground. There, you can hear the difference. Taking it out. Now watch what happens when I go directly to power. See the difference? It's one solid frequency. Now, let's go to the low. Oh, cycle the key again. It's the Jeep thing. Come on. And I can hear the difference slightly. So between can high and can low, there is a difference. And she shut off. Nope, there's the difference. So it's this very low frequency, but if we go to high, you can hear the difference. And then back to battery power. So this is how I diagnose a CAN network without any hard troubleshooting or pulling out some fancy multimeters. This is the quickest way. So yeah, you can use this on more than just turns or uh, CAN bus networks. I use this to find intermittent faults, brakes and harnesses. I'd hook it up to the circuit I suspected and I'd start wiggling harnesses and you could hear this thing beeping. Or on the circuits I connected to, uh, intermittent faults, I could hear it cutting in and out on road tests. Or even testing window wiper circuits or power door windows. If you got full power, you, like it's simple. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm looking for signals. This thing can lead you down the garden path, but I've had such a positive experience when I figured this out and how to use this that it saved me so much time in my career. And you know, look at my electric diagnostic box here. Or uh, this is all I use: power probe, and I had my soldering stuff. I did not pull out a scope. Yes, I can use a scope, and I prefer doing electronic diagnostics, but I keep it simple. All you need is a multimeter, a buzzer, and a power probe, and you can pretty much work on everything. Uh, it's a skill you will learn. But uh, I think this is something everybody needs to see here because this is revolutionary and I feel like I'm the only one doing it. So yeah, nice mechanics. Have a great day.